10 similarities between Adama Baro and Sadauda Kairaba Jawara. Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be discussing 10 striking similarities between our current president Adama Baro and our former president Sadauda Kairaba Jawara. From their paths to presidency to their relationship with other countries, we'll be covering it all. So buckle up and let's dive in. Before we go in, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video and leave a comment. And now, 10 similarities between Arama Baro and Sadauda Jawara. Number 1. Both served as president of the Gambia. Adama Baro and Sadauda Jawara have both held position of president of the Gambia. Jawara served as the country's first president for 24 years with no amendment of the constitution to initiate presidential term limit. Baro has also served as the president for 7 years and still has not yet amended the constitution to initiate presidential term limit. Power is indeed very very sweet. Number 2 both came to power through democratic means. Both Baro and Jawara were elected to their respective positions through democratic elections. Jawara won his first election in 1970 and subsequent election up until 1992. While Baro on the other hand won the 2016 and 2021 presidential election when he ousted former president Chiaya Jame. Number 3. Both have sought to improve relations with neighboring countries. Both Baro and Jawara have sought to improve relations with um, neighboring countries, particularly Senegal. Jawara was instrumental, instrumental in the formation of the Senegambia Confederation, intended to promote cooperation between the two countries, while Baro has sought to strengthen economic ties with Senegal and other West African countries. Baro oversaw the construction of the Senegambia Bridge, which links Senegal and the Gambia. Number 4. Both came from the rural areas. Jawara came from CRR, while Baro came from URR. They all eventually moved to the city in search of better opportunities like education. Jawara School at Mohammedan Lower Basic School and Methodist Boys High School while Baro School at Crab Island and Muslim High School. They all eventually occupied the highest position of the land. Number 5. Both have faced political opposition. Both Baro and Jawara have faced political opposition during their time in office. Jawara's government was overthrown in a military coup in 1994 while Baro has faced criticisms and protests from opposition and groups and civil society organization. Even a military coup attempt was done recently. Number 6. Both maintain friendly ties with the West, especially with Great Britain. Jawara had a close relationship with the late Queen Elizabeth, his former boss. Baro met with Queen Elizabeth a few years before she passed. He joined the Gambia to the Commonwealth after we had left this British organization a few years earlier. In addition, both once lived in the UK. Jawara did his university education in the UK while Baro worked as a security guard in the UK in their youthful ages. Number 7. Both Jawara and Baro have faced difficult periods in their political careers that have forced them into exile. After being overthrown in a coup in 1994, Jawara was forced to flee the Gambia and seek refuge in the United Kingdom. This marked the end of a 32-year tenure as the country's first president. Similarly, Baro was also forced to flee the Gambia and seek refuge in Senegal after the former president Yahya Jame refused to accept the results of the 2016 presidential election which Baro had won. The election had been widely seen as a referendum on Jame's 22-year rule and many Gambians were eager for change. However, Jame refused to step down, citing irregularities in the election. Number 8 both have no 
military background. Jawara was a former veterinary officer while Barrow was a former real estate mogul. They are both labeled soft-spoken and weak to address security challenges in the country. There is frequent theft and burglary in both regimes. In addition, both leaders maintained Senegal military presence in the country to which many Gambians resented. Number 9. Both leaders are said to have a very close mutual relationship with the elite businessmen in the country, a source of financial support to keep the economy and their political party afloat. Some critics have also pointed out that there is rampant corruption and mis mismanagement of public funds in both regimes. Number 10. Human rights and democracy. Both leaders have a civilian mindset and are accredited for upholding democratic principles in the country. There is a degree of political freedom in both regimes. Could it be that there is, this freedom is the reason for the frequent theft and burglary in both regimes in this country? In conclusion, it is evident that Adama Baro and Sadawda Jawara share some striking similarities in their leadership styles and personal backgrounds. Both have come to power through democratic means. And despite these similarities, both leaders have also faced criticisms for, their, for the way they handle security and the allegations of corruptions and mismanagement of public funds. Nonetheless, they are both accredited for upholding democratic principles and political freedom. As we continue to reflect on their leadership, it is important to recognize the complexities and nuances of their legacies. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking thought content. Until we see you again, it's bye for now.